Okay. Hey, Facebook Live, Eagle 8 reporter Paul Lamison. We are just north of State Road 52, and there was an accident with a log hauler. You can see this front end loader grabbing the leftover trees and moving them off the interstate. This is backing up I-75 north just south of State Road 52. Traffic is backed up and there is a considerable backup. The backup goes for miles and they are now trying to load this and so they can clear this and get the interstate back open. But for right now, they're going to wait a bit. You can see the logs that are spread out over. Okay, Facebook, we're gonna take a quick break. We're going to our show. 30 out. Good afternoon, Stacer. Good morning, still. You take a look at this. These are the logs that were on the back of the truck. A front end loader is pushing them out of the northbound lane. Some of them also go into the southbound lane, and it's down to one lane as well. What they're doing with traffic is they're routing it off onto a side part because there's construction up here, and they're exiting them off on State Road 52. I'm going to push in and show you. This is the truck that was hauling the logs. Somehow the load came loose after an accident, spilling them out onto the road. Highway Patrol does have the road closed off, and as we were flying up here from Tampa, the northbound lanes are backed up for miles. So this is a mess, and they are working to get these logs off the road so they can reopen the road. But in the meantime, you're going to want to avoid this area because traffic is a nightmare out here. And you can watch they're still moving these logs, loading them up, and getting them off the interstate, the northbound lane of I-75. Back to you, Stacy. Yes, I'm here, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, it's State Road 52. Here's the sign. They're having them exit onto exit 285, the Dade City San Antonio exit. So they're going to make you move off there, and then you can get back onto the interstate just north of it. But the traffic is so backed up because they had the road completely closed for a while until they let them exit. So just south of State Road 52. Oh, no problem. Thank you. And Facebook, we are back live again. You heard that. Uh, the road is backed up. They're getting you off at State Road 52. Here are the trees. You can see them spread in the northbound lane and also into the southbound lane. They do have both shut down. They are letting the southbound lanes through in one lane in the shoulder. The northbound lane is completely shut down. You can see the front end loader scooping them up, and you can see they're big trees. They're moving it, and they're trying to get them off. They have, they moved part of the barricade, and they're moving the trees off the interstate over into a side pile. Again, this is up towards Dade City on I-75. Northbound lane are the one that's really affected. Southbound is down to one lane. However, it is moving through. And you can see they're moving. That's quite a bit of trees. And so this is going to take a while because they're pulling them from one section across the interstate to another section. And I'll show you again the front end loader or the truck that was hauling it. Here's the truck. The load from the truck came off and spilled onto the interstate. You can see the tow trucks are here 
moving this truck because once they get the logs cleared, they have to clear the truck out of the way as well. So this is a traffic nightmare mess up here on I-75 North and South at State Road 52. I'll pull out now and show you the southbound. Here's what's happening here. They have it all lanes opened, but it's slow go because it then merges down into one outside emergency lane. So it's getting through, but very slowly. Northbound, nothing getting through. They're taking you off the interstate. This is the exit for 52. You're going to have to walk, drive all the way up to the end of the exit, wait for the light, and then cross 52 and get back onto the interstate. Once you do that, it's going to speed up. But right now, you can see their southbound is a backup. Yep. Yeah, we're good. And then here is southbound. You can see it's going all the way right to here. So this is this is a mess. This front, the trees from this truck and the cab, you can see the front of it up onto the tow truck. After the accident, lost the load of logs. They spilled out off the truck, and they are now on the interstate in the north and the southbound lanes. They go all the way across. Front end loader is here moving them. You can see them scooping them up, grabbing the tree. He's going to have to turn, maneuver, the, and through this opening of the barricades off the interstate and putting them into a new pile. They'll worry about loading them onto the truck later. But again, this is causing a backup. I'm going to move down for you. Here is I-75. You can see northbound is completely shut down. Southbound one lane is getting through. There's the traffic. It's as far as the eye can see. And we can see pretty far. There's how far the traffic is backed up. That's, that's a good backup. And even if I pan over here a little more, it's backed up over here as well. And so traffic is a nightmare up here. If you are traveling north on I-75 or know someone, traffic is backed up and will be for the next probably at least an hour until this clears out. They're moving you off I-75 onto State Road 52 as crews continue to try to move these trees off the interstate. Ford Highway Patrol has the road closed. They're down here monitoring this. But you can see, here's the front end loader, grabs a tree, moves it over. and pushes it out off into the middle, off the interstate. Construction was going here on here anywhere, so it's a little bit congested through here, but this is making it even worse. Again, southbound lane, one lane is getting through. Northbound, no lanes are getting through. You have to exit the interstate at State Road 52 at exit 285, Dade City, San Antonio. They're making you get off the interstate cross 52, get back on in the northbound lane. Here's the work they're doing. These are the trees that have already gotten off the interstate. Now let's watch. He's going to get some more. So he's using basically a forklift front that they lift pallets. He scoops up the trees. and tries to maneuver them across the northbound lanes of the interstate. And here comes a second one to help. And get them through the opening of the barricades. He's turning. and then drops the trees into the pile off the interstate. So you can see these are the trees that they've moved. These are the trees that are left. They're not going to reopen the interstate until all these trees are off the interstate 
And so now you have two tractors working. Again, to the right side of the screen, this is the southbound. Southbound here, you can see the trees into the southbound lane as well. They're moving you into the shoulder to get around. Northbound, no traffic is getting through. This is at State Road 52 in Dade City. You can see the traffic exiting the interstate. And this will be like this for a while. I'm going to jump onto Facebook, see if I can answer some of your questions. Uh, we're really not sure. People are asking how this happened. We don't know exactly how it happens. We do know there was an accident involving a tractor trailer hauling these logs. And I'll show you the tractor trailer. It is up here. And you can see it's on to a tow truck. We don't see any noticeable damage into it. But there was some kind of accident. The accident, yeah, actually you can see the smokestack. I'm going to push in for you. There's an accident. This truck was involved in an accident. When the accident happened, the load of trees on the back came loose, spilling out onto the roadway. So that's how this started with an accident with this tractor trailer, losing the load of logs onto the interstate. And that's where we are right now. They're trying to clear this off. And you can see they have two tra tractors clearing these off. And there's a smaller cat truck out there to help as well. But again, these are the ones they have to get off the interstate. These two go across the southbound lanes. This is the northbound lane. They're continuing to work, continuing to do this. And in the meantime, the interstate is closed northbound. Southbound one lane getting through. Uh, we're not sure if anyone was hurt, and another question was, well, didn't he have them strapped down? I'm sure he did, but when it, the accident happened, something must have happened to knock these loose. You can see down here, try to figure it out by looking at it. I don't see straps, but I'm sure they, this load had to be strapped down. But it came loose nonetheless, and that's where we are right now. It's a mess up here. All traffic from I-75 north at State Road 52 must exit. Here is where they have it closed off. Everybody merging from two lanes down to one lane to exit off the interstate. You have to exit. You can get back on just north of State Road 52, but that's taking some time. Traffic is backed up for miles. Southbound backed up as well. Not as bad because one lane is getting through southbound. You do not have to exit the interstate southbound. So we're going to come back up to where the accident is. There's the highway patrol. Here they are removing the trees. And they have two of these front end tractors loading the trees off. And you can see they're down. There's only a few more left. He has a load of three trees he's moving, has to get them over the barricade into the pile. So he's lifting, putting them over into the pile. And you can see southbound only one lane is getting through out onto the shoulder of the road.
Uh, the backup, people are asking. The backup is Miles. I can show you. Let's move over and show you the backup. Here's the northbound backup. This is where they are closing it down to one lane. And sorry if moving fast, but the backup goes as far back as we can see. I mean, this is this is a good distance, and it's backed up all the way back to here. You can see moving off to the side, people driving in the median, and then it wraps all the way around, all the way back up here, where they're making you get off the interstate. S the southbound backup, not quite as far, because they are getting you through without getting off the interstate. However, it's still backed up as well, because right here, oh, they now have southbound closed for a minute while they work on this. You can see southbound is now closed, so both are closed for this short time while they get these last three logs off the southbound lane. Ten four, I'll be up here. Okay. Yeah, the only good thing about this accident, according a Facebook person pointed it out, is they're doing construction up here, so they had all this equipment up here anyway. So they're able to use this to get the logs out. And here, this guy is now on to the southbound lanes. That's why they have it shut down, and it will only be shut down for a short period of time. You can see he's now maneuvering where they were having traffic go. He's going to drive in here and scoop these up. So you can see he's now getting the last three logs off of the southbound lane. He's moved this one over. Now they can resume southbound traffic. This semi-truck is now moving, followed by the camper and another semi-truck. So southbound is now back open, still only in one lane, and it is slowing down traffic as well. Northbound still closed in both directions. There's still a few more trees to get out of the way. Here is the log hauler. I'm going to go in on that. This is the log hauler that was involved in the accident causing the spill of the logs, causing the backup and all the delay. Let's go ahead and take a look where this truck's from. You can see the dent in the side of the door. That's where the accident happened. And I'll show you the southbound backup. This is southbound, that's State Road 52, and it's, it's a large backup as well. Let's take a look. The southbound backup is not as far. It's only about maybe a mile. But again, let me set the scene for you. Earlier today, there was an accident involving a log hauler. The log hauler lost the load of logs into both north and southbound lanes of I-75. Right now, they are working to clean the logs off the interstate. 
Southbound, only one lane is getting through on the shoulder. Northbound is shut down, and they're making you exit the interstate at State Road 52. The accident happened a while ago. They're working to clear the accident. Once it gets cleared, they can reopen the interstate. But right now you can see they're just about, they're getting the last few logs off the interstate. You're looking at the northbound lanes of I-75. That's where the logs are on the road. He's getting the last, there's three, four, dumps them off into the pile. And now there's one more log, two more logs left actually on the road. Uh, we do not know if anyone was hurt. I haven't been able to check my email. But again, they're almost done. You can see he has the one. He's probably going to scoop the two up. There's Florida Highway Patrol up checking out the area. You can see with the skid marks right where the Highway Patrol car is. That's where the accident happened. He smashed into the side wall, the skid marks. And here you go, the last two logs loading up onto the front end loader of the cat. Ten four, thank you, Linda. Those are the last of the logs. They are now off. So I'd imagine what has to happen now is they'll sweep to get any debris off it. That's what this guy's going to do. He's going to sweep to get the debris off the roadway. And then they'll have to put the barricades back because the barricades are into the southbound lanes. Okay, one minute out, Brian. So Facebook, I'm gonna stop talking for a minute because I have to do a live shot for News Channel 8. So you can tune into News Channel 8, and I'll be back with you. Ten four, thanks. Hey, Stacy. 
Uh, here's the truck that you were talking about, the logs, some of them still on it, and a little bit of good news. They have cleared the logs off of the interstate. There they are over off to the side on the shoulder. What they're doing now is they have crews down here cleaning off the debris off of northbound I-75. Also southbound, you can see the barricades over into the southbound lanes. So what's happening right now, one lane is getting through southbound over on the shoulder. Northbound, completely different story. Northbound is still shut down at State Road 52. What they're doing is they're making you exit right here on the Dade City, San Antonio exit 285 they're making you get off the interstate you then have to go north across 52 then you can jump back onto the interstate traffic northbound is backed up for miles as far back as we can see backed up because you're going down to one lane and exiting you're going to have to wait for the light at 52 southbound backed up for only about a mile because one lane is get, is getting through southbound so that's what's happening here back to you stacy Ten four, thank you.